Hide your wife, hide your kids, and look away, cause this gameplay isn't for the faint hearted. This is Mux Killer with an MP5. Delta team, you are clear to engage. <laughs> What's going on guys, this is Mux, and I, uh, I want to start off by apologising for the goofy intro there. Um, I thought it was necessary because as you guys will find out at the end of this video, what exactly I mean by... Um, um, when you should look away because I have an MP5 in my hands and uh, usually when I do have an MP5 in my hands um, I usually do well <laughs> that's uh, pretty much the uh, the least grammatical way I can put it but um, I usually do rape when I have it no matter what game it was COD 4 I tore shit up uh, Mono for 2 same that gun it was just different in there because it was more of a box than a rectangle hmm, think about that one and then back in uh, Mono Warfare 3, they've gone back to the original MP5 um, look from Call of Duty 4, which is... But then again, um, there is a few changes. I think they've kind of mixed them, um, mixed the two together from Mono Warfare 2 and uh, COD 4. But anyway, um, this is the first submachine gun for, um, for Mono Warfare 3 with the Game With Every Gun show. Um, and why not, let's just start start off with saying when you unlock it. You unlock it at level 4, and it is, I think, <laughs> to be honest, just from experience, I think it should be a more of a high level gun, because it is pretty amazing. Um, it's fully automatic, just like every submachine gun. has a capacity round of 30. Um, damage is way higher than uh, long ra close range than it is to long range. Um... It has about three bullets to kill someone at close range and five at long range. There is a big difference there compared to the um, assault guns. Um, takes about it offloads around 800 rounds per minute, which is about 13.33 per second. It takes about 0.15 seconds to kill someone at close range and about 0.3 exactly at long range. Um, has a reload time of about 2.53 which is pretty fast but um, I like to use sight of hand because I like to get my clip off and put it back in the hole I don't know um, <laughs> has a recoil of about 6 which um, which is medium for the submachine guns but um, but it's still on the high end you know 6 is pretty high but, uh, but anyway that's the full specs for this gun it's um, from experience, I guess you could say, and I'm and I'm guessing that everybody's used it. It is a very good gun, um, no matter what um, what attachments you put on it or what perks or whatever. It always performs <coughs> the best, just like you expect from a hooker. Um, but yeah, you always want that um, full pleasure when using the gun, and um, but yeah. So that's the gun, and that's all out of the way. Let's talk about the gameplay. Gameplay overall is pretty epic. I do go 44 to 13. Um, that is why I started off this commentary with the little goofy intro, um, because I kill, and I kill fast, and I kill hard. Um, the, key, the other team could just could not put up with me. Uh, the only way they was able to kill me is by double teaming me or getting me off guard or whenever like that. I very rarely lost gunfights in this match, but then again, I can't remember because I was like a level 20-something, no prestige, and I believe this was like the second day after Christmas, um, being the 27th of December, and it's now the 28th of January, so I'm really, um, finally doing a commentary and putting this up a whole month later, so I don't know a whole lot about the game um, gameplay itself. I mean, I know some parts just because when I'm watching it, it refreshes. I'm like, oh yeah, I'll go over here and stuff. But it, for the most part, um, it's, it is new for me to watch. Um, so I'm kind of looking at things thinking, oh shit, how did I see him? Just like that. Um, how that kid did not kill me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I believe I'm using the uh, Assault um, Killstreaks. Uh... Or it could be support. I don't know. I don't know these days what I was using. Um, but yeah, and I was doing. I was going solo, 
Um, because for some reason, I don't know why, but I feel like I play better by my own. Don't get me wrong, I love to uh, catch up with friends, you know, play some games with them and um, have a little joke about and stuff. But, but then again, when I go to play serious, um, I prefer to play by myself just because I can get in the zone, you know, when it's just me and the controller and some scrubs. Um, I feel like I can, can put up and put do work and stuff. So that's pretty epic. Um, I do believe we're playing Grand War Team Deathmatch. So that's probably why um, the kills were high as well. But then again, um, as you'll see, way, way, way into the future because I have a whole load of gameplays to put up. Um, I am playing like uh, Team Deathmatch and stuff like that. And I am going like 30 and 10 or 30 and 5 and stuff like that. Um, so. My gameplay is improving, my game style is improving, um, and I'm happy with it, you know. So that's pretty epic. Um, so that's all about the gameplay and my game style. Something else I want to talk about is uh, jobs. Um, yeah, this is probably like a weird thing to talk about, but um, as you guys know, if you didn't, if as you guys know, but if you don't, I'm a sophomore in high school, um, and about now is the time that I'm looking for colleges and what I really want to do with uh, with my life in the future, you know. Um, I've always had an interest in the medical field, um, being a paramedic to be specific, but looking into it, the, um, I've been looking on some websites, you know, some uh, question and answers and some legitimate websites um, of like the day in the life of a paramedic and to be honest, it sounds extremely stressful and um, the amount that they get paid is ridiculous it's so poor um, I, I just can't believe that they get paid that little you know whereas some other jobs um, for instance footballers or soccer players they get paid around like 250,000 a week whereas the average paramedic is paid 31,000 I think that is disgusting um, but then again that's my own opinion um, at the end of the day, I do believe that those who are saving your life should get paid more than those who are just providing weekly entertainment, you know, um, for six months of the year. And I think it is disgusting. And um, But yeah, that's just my opinion. Um, I'm sure that there's others out there in this world who feel exactly the same. Um, but that's just the way it is and we've just got to deal with it so I've been looking further into the medical field that pays a little bit better and I've stumbled across an anaesthetist or an anaesthesiology or whatever it's called um, and basically what it is it's someone who if you've ever had experience with the ER or the medical room um, is it's the person who puts you to sleep and monitors you throughout the surgery that's pretty much what it is um, they do abbreviate it to a CRNA, which stands for a Certified Registered Nursing Anaesthetist. Um, and that's, that's, it looks interesting, you know, and it seems pretty, not easy, but it seems a little bit less stressful. And some reviews and some websites have been saying, oh, it's fun and you get to have a laugh with your other colleagues. And sometimes the, um, the patients as well, you know, if they're just going in for nothing serious, you know, just like, I don't know. Um, just a little minor surgery on your knee or whatever. Um, they usually have like a little joke around and stuff, you know. But um, but yeah, it looks it looks fun. Um, something that I'm really interested in. Um, but I don't know a whole lot of like what you need to, what classes you need to take, and if there's any high school that you can take, so you don't have to pay for them in college and stuff like that. That's what I'm kind of looking at, and I haven't really got a whole lot of answers for that. So if any of you guys know. Um, it would be really nice if you could let me know. So, um, yeah, that's the end of the gameplay, guys. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching this and listening to my commentary. We so much appreciate it if you could like it, subscribe, and um, possibly answer my question. Uh, so I want to thank you guys again for watching, and uh, goodbye for now. What's up, guys? Um, I just want to say that it's not Ground War that I'm playing. It is actually straight-up Team Deathmatch. So I apologise for any confusion there. Um, don't hate on me for it. But um, I guess it was just a little confusion. So um, thank you guys again. And don't kill me. See ya.